Hi friends, in this video we will discuss generating components in Angular CLI. Open a terminal window. Use this command to generate a component in Angular CLI. NGGC component name. See here the component folder created. Inside this folder all the component files are created. See uh, in terminal window. It also updates in app.module file. See here. It has included required uh, import statements here uh, and it's included in declarations also. Three things will happen while generating new component. It creates new folder with the same name of component. Uh, HTML, CSS, spec file and uh, TS files are created inside the newly created component. It also registered uh, with uh, app.module file. See here, component folder is placed inside the app folder. If you want to place newly generated component other than app folder, um, if I want to create one more component inside this ABC folder, use this command ng gc. Here we have to specify the path name. The new component is created inside this folder. Okay. By default, Angular CLI is generating new folder for every new component. I don't want a new folder. Instead, I want to place all the component files inside the app folder. For this, use this command ng gc df already given jkl use dash dash flat See here, jkl folder not created, um, jkl component files all are created inside the app folder. Next we will use dry run. Um, why we use this means it reports the list of files and the folders which are going to be created. It means uh, it not actually created. Okay, Use this command. Dash D. See the message run with dry run no changes were made these files are going to be created but not uh, actually created now see here html spec ts and the css files are going to be created externally i want this as inline template and uh, css as inline style state for this dash it for inline template dash is for inline uh, style sheet and also I don't want this spec file for this use um, spec dash dash spec equal to false press enter if you are happy with this um, remove the dry run See here only two files created. Here inline template files create uh, inline template created. Also inline styles are created inside the component file. Let's have a quick recap of what we discussed so far. To generate a new component, uh, use this command. To place the generated components in different folder other than app, use this command. Uh, to generate component without folder, use dash dash flat. To see the list of files and folders that will be create generated, use dry run. To generate a component with an inline template and inline styles, this is the syntax. Um, dash it for inline template, dash is for inline style. If you don't want the spec file, use dash dash spec equal to false. 
in our next video we will discuss how to generate modules in angular cli thank you for watching this video